Mary and I like to be looking fabulous all the time, from our head to our toes. That's right, and my favorite new accessory, stiletto nails. It's like Rihanna, Lana Del Rey, who else has a little claw nails? We Lady do. Lady Gaga. Oh. We do. It's no big surprise that nail art is a huge trend right now. And we knew that we needed to bump up our nail game. So who better to help us than our girl, Renee? We met Renee's and we loved her from the get-go because she had a big old bun on top of her head. I said, how'd you get your bun so big? She goes, it's a sock. She was the first person I ever saw with a sock bun. At that point, we knew it was love at first sight. We are so thrilled that you took the time to meet with us today and give us a little nail DIY. Yeah, we're we're freaking, we want gradient nails. Yeah. Ombre. Oh, awesome. Ombre. Gradient. It's all the same. It's when one color fades into another. And it is a big trend. You've seen it in hair. I even saw it in a baby outfit at Target last night. You guys already have your white on, I noticed, which Seems is good. So prepared. Putting the white on on the bottom makes the color pop, so the ombre will be more vibrant. So that's great. You guys already have your white on, and you have your stiletto nails, which is very trendy. Do you like yeah. them? We're I obsessed. love them. They're We're obsessed. Great. Here's what you need. A couple of cut up makeup sponges. You can probably find these at the 99 cent store. Nail polish remover and a nail brush. And if you don't have a nail brush, you can probably use Q-tips. Two similar colored nail polishes. A lighter and a darker. And a glitter top coat. And you don't actually have to use a glitter top coat. You definitely need a top coat, but the glitter just kind of helps drag down the color just a little bit more. Okay, hold up. I need a little Renee section. Okay, Renee's in the middle. Yeah, Renee's sandwich. All right. So what you're gonna do, ladies, is go ahead and grab a sponge. Start with your lightest color. I like to start with the light at the bottom. You just you can just go ahead and use a couple swipes of polish on the makeup sponge. It's gonna absorb the paint, and then you can just pat it on. I think that it works better when you use a little bit less because then you can build color on top of color and make it brighter or darker. But once you have the polish on, it's kind of harder to go back. So just lightly put it on and then add more color as you go. Make sure you use a clean side of the sponge for each nail. Otherwise, the paint can get a little flaky when it starts to dry on the sponge. And then now that I have this color down, I'm gonna go and grab my darker color. To make your colors blend easier when you're doing the gradient technique, it helps if you have a creamy light color to start at your base, and then for the darker color that's going to be closer to the edge of your nail, it helps if it's a little sheer and it's not a super saturated creamy color because it can make it harder to blend. All right, I'll be honest with you all. I did not have the easiest time on this one. No, she didn't. I am a bit of a perfectionist. Yes, she is. And I just sat there obsessively going, oh my gosh, it's not exactly the same. Da, 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 and freaking out and obsessing literally over each nail. And then I kind of surrendered to the process and I realized, oh my gosh, this is all about its own braids, gradient, just kind of go with it, drag it into each other. And I literally discovered that as time went on, each nail was different and each nail was really a work of art in its own way. A very important tip, especially if you have a dark color, is to clean your top coat brush. I kept dragging in my dark color onto the top and literally made my whole little container turn kind of this orangish color instead of clear. That's no good. No, it wasn't good. So don't make that mistake. I really lucked out with this process. I ended up with the more iridescent blue and that turns out is one of the keys to making this look super fabulous. So it really just faded better. My nails kind of remind me of the ocean. Don't worry about the edges. Just go ahead and make a big old mess. It's best to clean it all up at the end with your nail brush or your Q-tip or have a friend have them clean it up for you. We had so much fun today. I learned a lot, actually. I am so inspired. Like, give me some polka dots. That would be really cute, actually. Right? You know what I was really surprised about? How easy this was. I mean, it's just like paint <laughs> <laughs> on your nails. And you know what? It's a very low commitment. But it's not even like precision. You know what I mean? It's just like all you have to do is go sponge. And then blend. It's easy. I don't know. It's like I felt intimidated and then I tried it and I'm like, Psh, I got this. And let me just tell you, people are going crazy for these nails. Crazy. All right? I'm excited, man. This has got me really inspired and I can even see like how it got better over here. Mm -hmm. So. Just give me home off gradient toes. <laughs> Mary's gonna be graded from head to toe. <laughs> Own braid. All the way, hair, nails, toes, <laughs> totally. all of it. And for more tutorials on how to get this look and others, check out Renails on You Look Hot. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Too Fab. And as always, please comment below because we want to know, what do you want to see? What do you want to learn? And remember to like this video and subscribe to Style Hall. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? Here's what you need. Some cut up makeup sponges. You can get those at the 99 cent store. 
a little bit of makeup, sorry. Je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. So we decided what better way to kill two birds with one stone. I don't want to say kill two birds. <laughs> <laughs>